Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, we're going to talk about the upcoming Windows 11. Windows 10. It's been a happy six years. And, to be honest, six years of pretty much constant evolution. Microsoft have released a steady series of upgrades every six months that have kept Windows 10 pretty much fresh, new and current. But it's time for a change. A new name, a new look, and a new feel. And the name is Windows 11. And the new look is softer, more fluid, dare I say it, more Mac-like, but still very solidly Windows. The logo has changed, well, slightly. It's no longer the slanted Windows, it's just a dead square four pane window. And we have the new flower background, adding to the softness and that sort of feel and very much sort of flowing into the creative idea. One of the first things you'll notice is that the start button has moved. By default, all of the icons in the taskbar are now centered with the start button being the leftmost of those. It is pretty easy to switch it to the left if that's where you really want it though. And here's the new start menu. Cleaner, smoother, all the apps that you want at the top and the documents you've been using at the bottom. There's also some extra security features built in, which I won't go into detail here, but just so you know, Windows 11 will be safer under the hood. There'll also be support for Android apps on your desktop via Amazon's App Store, which will be added to the Microsoft Store. This one will be a little bit interesting. I'm not sure how many mobile phone apps I actually want to run on my desktop, but we'll see. Widgets are back and looking better than ever. Basically, they're a little bit like the news and interests that popped up in one of the more recent upgrades to Windows 10. I did find one slight downside of the news articles is that they're not dated. So seeing this news article was interesting, but it wasn't until I clicked on it that I found out that it was actually yesterday's news. It's 23 hours old. Microsoft Teams is now completely built into the operating system. Great if you use it, and maybe more people will now. The Snap Layout feature allows you to lay out a bunch of windows as you wanted on your screen, which is probably really handy if you're using a single big screen. There's also gaming improvements and better virtual desktop support. So you can have a full set of windows set up for home and another full set set up for work, which if you're working from home is probably really handy. Can you get it? There are some guidelines around what machines will and won't run Windows 11 as a direct upgrade. Basically, pretty much any machine bought since 2017 should have no issues. Older machines may or may not be eligible. Microsoft did have an upgrade checker on their website, but it's currently not available. I'm sure it'll come back closer to release date. The two important features required for Windows 11 are a TPM, or Trusted Platform Module, and to make sure your machine is set up using Secure Boot. Again, hopefully you will have both of these and your upgrade will just run smoothly. We'll look at these in a future episode on upgrading that hopefully will be linked up here when it's ready. When can you get it? Official release date is scheduled for October 5, although it won't be feature complete at that time. The Android store won't be ready by then. Devices are already shipping from stores slated as Windows 11 ready, and I'm guessing on October 5, you'll be able to go to your favorite big box retailer and pick up a Windows 11 desktop or laptop. Unless, of course, you're living somewhere like me that's probably still going to be in lockdown, in which case you might be able to do it via click and collect or have it delivered. Beyond that, upgrades will be released to people in a phased and measured way, according to Microsoft, which means you'll be offered your free upgrade somewhere between October and mid-2022. As we get more information on that, we'll let you know via another video linked up here. Or you could just subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and you'll be notified when new videos come out. Should you get it? If you can get it, yes. It's a free upgrade, like the upgrades you've been getting every six months to Windows and basically haven't noticed. This one, you'll notice. If you get a pop-up, wait till a good time, usually in the evening, go through the steps, let it start upgrading, and head to bed. Hopefully, in the morning, you'll have a fresh Windows 11 PC at your disposal. As soon as we know more about what the exact upgrade process will look like, we'll link to a video about that up here too. If your machine's not technically eligible to run Windows 11, there may still be hope. For instance, with a bit of work, I was able to install Windows 11 beta 
on this 12 year old Dell laptop. And to be honest, it runs surprisingly well. Basically exactly the same as it did running Windows 10. Stay tuned for a future episode on upgrading ineligible hardware as well. Question of the day, are you excited about upgrading to Windows 11? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful to you, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.